as you as you get older, you understand your youth differently, and um, I think I had a pretty good imagination as a kid. I read a lot. Um, I didn't really know that I wanted to be a writer until I was about 16 or 17, and when I was 21, I, I made an oath to myself, which was that I would write three novels by the time I was 30. So I was very ambitious in a very serious way, the way that young people can be. And uh, it was sort of silly, but at least I was motivated and I, I had to teach myself how to be a writer and that takes a long time. It took me a long time. No. Uh, and s many writers do know their endings and they write towards those endings. Um, the advantage of that is that you don't get lost and that you make each logical step towards the ending. The disadvantage of it is that the text may become um, overly deterministic, overly um, um, plotted or, or uh, narrated towards a, a, a singular conclusion. And um, I think readers are just as smart as writers, if not smarter. And they, they read a lot of books and readers are very good at trying to figure out the ending long before it comes. So if you are writing a book and you know the ending, you're putting in all the signals for the ending, but the readers can figure that out too. If you don't know the ending when you're writing it, you can't put in too many things that tell what the ending is because logically you don't know what it is. So uh, it's a very inefficient way to write a book. I, I stumble to the ending and I tend to rewrite the ending many times. And then I have to go back and put in all the little signposts all the little flags that, that help me get there. But um, it's, it's a little more organic uh, to reality, but um, it also takes longer. That's the way I know how to do it. No, I just, uh, I, I, I can write on the computer, I can write by hand. Sometimes um, I go to a little restaurant uh, at lunch and I write at lunch. I eat and drink and I, I write a few things and then I'll go back later and type that. Um, but really the technique is just to, to rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and to um, keep lifting the text up and making it as good as possible. Good writers are usually good rewriters. I like a lot of different kinds of authors. Um, I, the, the book I'm going to refer to is a little bit older, but uh, it was an important book for me uh, when I was trying to teach myself to be a writer, and that book is Sophie's Choice by William Styron. And uh, I read that book three times, and the last time I read it, I, I actually diagrammed how the chapters were put together because uh, I wanted to learn how he put together that book. And also he's got a tremendous uh, style. I don't um, feel an obligation to be very current with what's being written right now. I probably shouldn't admit this because there's so much in the past that's excellent. And um, you can go back and read uh, novels of all sorts uh, and learn a lot that's pertinent to now. Um, Ishiguro's The Remains of the Day is a great novel. Um, you can go back to an American writer many people have forgotten named John O'Hara who wrote a novel called Butterfield 8 in the 1930s about New York. Very good novel. I, there's no one person. I just move around. You could go read Shakespeare and learn a lot. Mm.